What up homies, Jester here, and today we're taking a look at Starforge. Like Hero Siege, Starforge was gifted to me by my buddy Buzzy, and figured take the time, get everything taken care of on the PC, new version of Windows, everything's been reinstalled, so why not first look at the game, first look at everything on my PC. Um, so Starforge, on its store page is like $2.50 for the holiday sale. And the reviews are shit. <laughs> there are almost 6,000 negative and 1,500 positive. I didn't dissect and dive deep into the reviews, but I'm going to get to that at the end of the video. Um, when you start the game, um, you will notice it is a huge environment. Start there, you got this giant spider looking drill thing. Um, Surrounded by, and no, well, not surrounded, but there are five of these capsule looking devices spread out surrounding it. Now, I haven't played enough to know exactly what they're for, short of periodically stuff gets delivered to them supplies, gear, blueprints, stuff like that. You run around, and this environment reminds me a lot of Seven Days to Die in terms of when you dig stuff up on the holes that you make, it's not. Minecraft block style it is holes and random polygons stuff like that there aren't a whole lot of enemies to really deal with you got so far I've seen I think two maybe three passive mobs you go through you kill them you take the stuff inside and even the passive mobs have weird stuff in them bullets for the guns that you can craft or blueprints stuff like that um, the bad guys they're few and far between as well, except for one area I found just nearby spawn. It looked like a down part of a spaceship, and the bad guys were everywhere. Um, and one of the videos you'll be able to see that I encounter them, and I end up running for my life. But there's a level of gravity and physics involved. And this is, to me, where things get kind of derpy. Um... The gravity is what would be considered low. You jump, you kind of float, and then you land, and you feel it. But if you jump a, fall, uh, a fair distance, you're going to take some damage. So it's it's kind of strange. Um, and you see the same thing with the mobs, both passive and hostile. They react the same way, and it's, it's just kind of weird. I didn't dig around enough to know if you dug a big enough hole, if the ground was going to cave in. I didn't bother to do that. Spend a lot of time just kind of wandering around, exploring, stuff like that. But the game is definitely not polished, definitely not ready. Um, and that's going to bring me into the reviews. That is the resounding statement from everybody who's reviewing, is they got scammed, they got jet. Um... Looking at the Starforge website and their blog, stuff like that. They haven't updated shit in over a year. So I think that's where a lot of the reason that people have a problem with this game is it's it's not ready, it's not released, but they've already released it. And it's what they think is garbage. Now, playing it, it really makes you feel what's coming next. Um, so you would keep playing it to see if anything comes next. Nothing shows up. I think that's where a lot of the negativity comes from. I'm not an uber gamer. I don't have the ins and outs and intricate knowledge of how stuff works. If somebody comes to me, hey, it's a voxel game. I have no idea what voxel is. Um, this one could be. It might not be. I don't know. I didn't look into it that much because I don't want to hurt my brain. I don't have a whole lot of brain power as it is. I'm not going to hurt myself. But I can definitely see how people would feel gypped. In this game is not complete. It's not polished. Even a game like Fortress Craft Evolved, which I've been playing, a lot of the guys here at Sentinel have been playing it and enjoying it. It's still early access, and it flows a lot better and a lot smoother than Starforge does. So, I mean, it's only 250. So it's it's kind of at that point. If you have the spare money, eh, why not? Um, but considering the fact that it does look almost abandoned, that they're not going to do anything with it, it might almost be a waste of money. I might give it some more game time, play around with it more, see if there's more to it, 
that there's stuff further on that oh I just haven't gotten to this yet it's actually kind of cool so I'm gonna try to put a little bit more time into it but it's it's not buzzy if you catch this I apologize dude I don't know if you bought this for yourself you had a spare copy you bought it for me um, it's not that great of a game um, Hero Siege is actually better of a game and it's a much smaller less graphically defined and I would pick that one over this one. The fact that this has sat on my uh, wish list for so long, it kind of is a, is a disappointment. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you've played it, if you feel the same way, if you think I'm wrong, if you haven't played it just by what you see here, let me know. Also, video quality, audio quality, reinstalled, had to put Windows 10 on the other PC that's processing everything so settings pretty much default let me know what you guys think let me know how it sounds stuff like that maybe I can get it fixed till next time guys take it easy I'll catch up with you then